students welcome to another video from Shomu's biology and in this video we are going to talk about notch signaling process first segment of this lecture will deal with the notch signaling basics the overview of notch signaling including notch signaling molecule notch signaling receptor and the other mechanism of notch signaling pathway and in the second half we'll talk about the notch signaling animation so let's begin the receptor for notch signaling is notch protein itself, which is a single pass transmembrane receptor protein present in the cell membrane. The ligand for notch signaling is delta. It's known as delta protein. The example of notch signaling is maintaining pancreatic progenitor cells. The role of notch signaling to link the fate of one cell with that of a cellular neighbor through physical interactions between the notch receptor and the membrane bound ligands that are expressed in an opposing cell. The evolutionary conservedness for notch signaling is highly conserved. The special feature of notch signaling is the notch signaling does not contain an intermediate to amplify signal unlike many other signaling processes. Thus, notch signaling can be activated at distinct signaling strength levels. Without any further delay, let's look into the mechanism of notch signaling with the help of this notch signaling animation. So, to understand notch signaling, you need to know the two adjoining cell membrane. One is denoted with purple and another one is blue. And the nucleus of the other cell is also designated with the blue color. So the signaling molecule is delta. This one is delta. And the ligand, I mean the receptor molecule is notch. So now how they are interacting? Let's look at delta's position in the membrane and notch's position in the membrane. So delta is coming in from the cell on the top and notch receptor is present from the cell in the bottom. Upon interaction between delta and notch, there is a S2 cleavage of the notch protein in the cytosolic side. And after this cleavage, there are two different array of signaling. On the top, while delta and notch interacts, there is a protein recruited known as ADAM10. ADAM10 cleaves the notch. And then this notch associated to the delta will start to bulge out in a vesicle known as receptor endocytosis by the cell present on the top. While S2 cleavage leads to the structural modification and further S3 cleavage will modify the notch cytosolic site which is present from before. Then Y secretase is another enzyme that cleaves the part which is present of the notch receptor. And that cleaved portion is now released into the cytosol known as NICD. The NICD or the cytosolic site of the notch receptor once released in the cytosol can now go inside the nucleus. And it's going to interact to CoA, MAM and CSL proteins. And this combination of NICD along with CoA, MAM and CSL interact to the DNA and activate notch signaling genes. The target genes will be activated means the transcription of target genes will begin. On the other hand, if there is no notch signaling, no interaction between delta and notch, in that case, this CoR and CSL remain as it is. CSL and CoR are, cannot initiate the activation of specific notch signaling activated genes without the entry of NICD. So in this case, target gene transcription remain shut down. So that's an overall process of notch signaling. I believe you have a clear understanding of notch signaling process. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.